had a wonderful week. Today we're in the book of Luke again, uh, but this week we're not looking for a lost sheep, but a lost coin. Uh, and to help us r- realise that our story is about looking, just like last week you had a sheep that you had to find in the background of some of the shots that Sarah had, well this week we have a pair of binoculars, which I'm going to be putting, I'm going to be hiding like this, uh, and I want you to try and find it in, 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 in each shot. Also, just like last week, at certain points during the video, I will ask you to pause it and do some of your worksheet. And, and, and before, we, before we get into the, the story today, it, just a quick reminder that what we learned today, Jesus was telling to the Pharisees. And if you remember last week, Sarah was saying that the Pharisees, they were the top religious guys, they thought they were all that. And actually, they, 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 they hated tax collectors, they hated sinners, that they didn't care for them at all. They thought they were worthless. But today we're going to see that God and Jesus do care for sinners and tax collectors. And we're going to see that Jesus and God do care for them a lot. But before we do all this, Sarah is going to show us some Makaton signs for the week. And then there's going to be a video of today's Bible passage. Stories of the Bible. The parable of the lost coin. This is Jesus. hey Who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love. He healed many people from their sickness, performed many miracles like calming storms, and even raised people from the dead. Jesus taught everyone about God's love. All kinds of people would come to hear Jesus speak, including tax collectors and people who made bad choices. This made the Pharisees and Jewish leaders mad. Ugh, yuck. They didn't think that Jesus should be around these kind of people. Hmm. So Jesus told them this story. Suppose a woman has 10 silver coins Eight, nine, uh, wait. and loses one. Won't she light a lamp and sweep the entire house and search carefully until she finds it? Woohoo! And when she finds it, and what color? she will call in her friends and neighbors and say, celebrate with me and rejoice because I have found my lost coin. In the same way, the angels of God are joyful and rejoice when even one person stops sinning and follows God. Hello, so I'm gonna do the Makaton for today's story that Jesus told, his parable, and you can do these signs as we go through the story. So last week we learned look for, which was this, are you ready? Look for, you're looking around, can you find it? Well done, you remember that really well and find, do you remember that one? Find, find, well done. So this week we're gonna do coin. So put your hand out, I'll come near, and coin, just draw a coin on, coin. Well done. And we're gonna do love or care for. So love, care for, love, care for, brilliant. And we're gonna do happy, or celebrate, okay? So happy as this, put your hand out, sort of thumb up a little bit, happy, or come nearer, happy, or celebrate is a really good one, ready? Put your hands like this, and celebrate, so push them up, celebrate. And you've got to look happy whilst you do it, you ready? Celebrate. Excellent, well done. So a lady, she had 10 coins, and, and they were precious to her, she loved her coins, she cares for them because those coins mean that she can, she can buy food and clothes and may, maybe a little treat every now and then. She cares for those coins, but disaster happens. She loses one of her coins. And so she, she lights a lamp, 
she cleans the house, she searches everywhere for the coin and she finds it. And she is so happy that she finds a coin that she tells all her friends that she found the coin and they are all happy. She is happy that she has found her coin and she's happy because she cared for that coin. That coin was precious to her. So pause the video now and what I want you to do is I want you to answer the questions on your sheet up to the discussion section. So the discussion section, don't do that, but all the questions before that, see if you can do them now. And we're back. What is precious to you? Uh, what, what do you really like and care for? For me, if I'm being completely honest, I really love my Xbox. I finish a long, hard day of work and I get home. And especially now, as we can't go out in the evenings really and do anything because of the lockdown, I get home now and there's nothing better than just going on the Xbox and playing some games with my friends. And in a way, I care for my Xbox as well. I remember before lockdown, I had a friend around and they put their cup of tea on top of the Xbox. So I went, no, don't do that. It could spill. It could spill and damage the Xbox. I care for it a little bit. I like it. I care for it. it it's quite precious to me. Um, I've got it here right now to show you. Where is it? I've lost it. I've lost my Xbox. We need to find it. It's not in here. It's not in here. It's not even in here. Is the Xbox in here? No. Are you in here? No. Could it be in the oven? Eh, eh. It's not, it's not in the fridge. It's not in the freezer. It's not even in the microwave. What about the dishwasher? Eh, eh. Could it be in the footstool with a secret compartment? No! What about the toilet? Maybe it's in the toilet. Oh, Adam! Where is it? Where is it? Hey! I found it! Yes! I found it. I, I can't wait to tell my friends. They're going to be happy uh, too. So the Xbox, it means a lot to me. It was lost, but then I found it and I was happy. The coin, it meant a lot to the woman. It was lost. She found it. She was happy. Everyone means a lot to God. And we were all lost. But now God has found us and is happy when we get found. Could the Xbox have found me? No, I needed to do it. Could the coin find the lady? No, she needed to do it. Could we find God or get to God by ourselves? No, God needs to find us. Everyone is a sinner. Everyone says, shove off God, I'm in charge. No to you and your rules. Everyone is lost. We need God to find us. So why does he want to find us? And how does he do it? So first question, why? Well, because God cares and loves us. He loves us more than, than that lady loves the coin, more than I love uh, the Xbox. And, and he shows how much he cares and loves us, lost sinners, by how he finds us. 
So he finds us because he cares for us and he loves us. He doesn't think we're worthless like, like the Pharisees thought people were. No, God thinks that we are valuable. He cares for us and loves us. And so how does he find us? Well, he did it by sending Jesus, his only son, to reveal himself to us. And by making it possible for us to be friends with him. And he did it by, by, by sending Jesus down to die on the cross for our sins, uh, to taking the punishment for our sins, uh, and then rising from the dead to show that he conquered death. So how does he do it? He does it by sending Jesus to find us, to make us know God. If you're watching right now and you love and trust Jesus, you have already been found. And God rejoiced and the angels in heaven rejoiced and there was, there was a party. They were so happy that God found you, that you were lost and that now you're found. And if you don't currently uh, love and trust Jesus, I encourage you to do so. Because God wants you to be found. Because he cares for you. He wants to have a party celebrating that you have been found. So love and trust Jesus because God cares for you, loves you and he wants you. Pause the video now and do the discussion questions on that sheet with, with, with whoever looks after you and really think about how amazing God is, that he cares for us and that he loves us. And we're back. Uh, Kate is now going to do a craft uh, and then we will pray about what we have learned today. Hi guys, welcome to Craft with Kate. <laughs> We did go to, would you like to come join? There's a space right here for you. Have you got some time? Oh great, Gertrude, thank you. That's okay. okay. So, for the craft this week, what do we need first, Gertrude? Our listening ears are on! Are yours? Mine are on. Listening ears are on. What we need is, you need some scissors. Scissors. Check. You need some glue. Check. You need some wool or string. Check, check, check. And you need some pencils or pens. Check, 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 check. And also what you need is the sheet we sent you, which is this. Check. Check, Gertrude's got it. Perfect. So what we want to do first is colour it in. Don't we, Gertrude? It's that simple. It's that simple. So once you've coloured it in, Gertrude, like, like Gertrude has, you're going to want to get a parent because this bit is very difficult. It's challenging. It's challenging. So Gertrude, I got my goggles on. Who are you going to go get? My goggles? An adult. An adult. An adult because it's tricky. It's very tricky. Okay, so mom. <laughs> so first, if you've got a blade cutter, <laughs> use it. But if you don't. No so what fine. you want to do, this black line here where the, in the purse, you want to cut that out. Cut. Okay, so as you can see, you've got a hole there. So what you need to do next, where the dotted line is down the middle, you want to fold the piece of paper on that dotted line. Carefully. Okay. And next, you want to cut along the black line here, where the coin is, and just put that to the side because you need that a bit later. You cut along so you've got these bits of paper. Keep them folded and just put them to the side for now. Okay, so now you've got this. 
You've got your your pouch ready, your purse. So what Man you want to do? Wow. Bedroom. Okay. So what you want to do next is glue down the side and the bottom and do the top. Along the bottom and along the side and a little bit on the top. So it's all glued down the side and you can still open your purse. So you don't want to stick it all, you just want to stick the like edges. It's almost like a glove. Like it's almost a glove. So once you've stuck the edges down, you get your coin. Coin! and cut it out coin and you've got the writing on the back so what you want to do next is get some wool um, okay there you go get and then you want to get your coin and you want to glue the back of the coin glue the back of the coin Thank you. put the wool or string in the middle of the coin and then put the writing on the back of the coin to trap the like like, th like that yeah perfect so like that you've got your coin wow. and your writing wow. so next you want to put the end of your wool on your purse mm -hmm. so where the little staple sign is at the top of your purse you want to stick it there so you can either glue it stick, or stick, stick. you can either glue it or staple it stick we're gonna glue it because we don't have staplers. So, so this is what it should look like. This is one I made earlier, Gertrude. Oh, well so, fancy. So you should be able to put your coin in your purse <gasps> like I this can. and then be able to pull it out. It's like a real life purse. I'm gonna yeah. use this instead of my purse no, now. No, that's not why. I'm gonna put all my money in it, my credit card. Look, <laughs> you can put it in and take it out. Look how amazing that is, Gertrude. Wow. Well, I know, it's amazing. Wow. There you go, guys. There's your purse for the craft. This has been Craft with Kate and Gertrude. Gertrude, did you have fun? I had a lot of fun. You had a lot of fun. A lot of fun. I hope you guys have a lot of fun making this. I now this. have a purse. Bye, guys. Why don't we pray about what we have learned today? Dear God, thank you so much that you find us. Thank you that you care for us and that you love us. Please help us to remember this. Amen. Well, thank you for watching today. Uh, I hope you have a wonderful rest of the week and we will see you next week. Goodbye.